All right, uh, I had previously posted a video, a series of videos about setting up MMO style, MMO RPG style camera controls, uh, character and camera controls. Uh, that was several months ago, and I found out a much simpler way to do it. Um, so basically, what it is is you left click and hold and drag to move a free camera. Okay, so if I'm looking back here and I push W, I still move in my forward direction. Okay, because I'm just left clicking the free camera. If I press and hold the right mouse button, I'm moving character and the control rotation of the pawn. So now when I press forward, I spit off that way. Okay, so I'm right mouse button. And so I can hold down the right mouse button and W and have MMO style precision. I can spin around my character as we go. So here's how we do it. Okay. In the controller, the player controller, um, we have a simple setup like this. Okay, you have your input axis turn and your lookup. Okay, and those signals are fed both fed into a gate. The right mouse button and left mouse button both open and close the gate. So what this looks like, debug style, let me show you. Um, bringing it up on another screen, okay. So without clicking anything, the signals from the mouse end here, which is fine because this value is zero anyways. Uh, so we're not continuously resetting the camera when it doesn't have to change. Okay, if I press and hold left, you see that it flows through, moves the camera, always adjusts the camera, uh, but you see it stops at this branch here uh, because the right mouse button is not down. If I hold the right mouse button down, it gets all the way through to the move the character as well. So let me bring the character over so you can see just a little bit. So I'm moving left mouse, right mouse, okay? Um, the key parts for your player controller is uh, you have to have show mouse cursor, enable click events, okay? Because it's actually going to be the click which will start doing the axis values, okay? So both these move char camera and move character, those are functions in a character class. Um, I call it a player base character because different players may have different meshes and whatnot. So this is the parent class player base character. Pop into that. Let's look at the move camera first. Okay, so we've got, um, you get the turn and look up access values. You get the input yaw scale and pitch scale from your player controller. Those are, uh, I'm just using the defaults. It should already, um, a regular player controller. Here, I'll show you mine. Where is it? Class defaults. Player controller reference input yaw scale. Here's the player controller. Oh, here it is. Input yaw scale, input pitch scale. Uh, those should just be part of the class defaults uh, for a player controller class. So you grab those. Uh, the turn signal gets multiplied by the scale and added to what the relative rotation of the camera boom, which is part of your character. Uh, you, you break that rotator and you add the scaled up pitch and yaw to each of those. Clamp the pitch so you're not freaking out at the turnover points, like straight up or straight down. Uh, it can get a bit glitchy, so I just clamp it at those angles, make a new rotator, set the relative rotation of the camera boom again. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. That's setting the camera. So that's always happens whether we allow 
mouse data through on a right mouse or a left mouse, in both cases, we're going to be adjusting the camera. Now this other part, move character, okay, if the right mouse button is down, we're also going to move the character using those same turn and lookup values from the axis. Now that looks a little bit different. It's also in the base player character, move character. Basically what we do is the first thing we do is we set the control rotation of the pawn, or of the controller I should say, to match the rotation of the camera. Okay, so that'll um, make sure that um, your player will start turning, will start going the direction that the right mouse is dragged to. Um, it's basically a snap because uh, you won't be. If you have, well, let's. It'll make more sense here. So step one, and then the next two things you do is you add the yaw input and add the pitch input. If you were to just have those two, you would just be incrementally offsetting your control rotation from whatever it was before. Um, but you want it to start at wherever, you want it, the offsets to be offset from where the camera is currently pointing. That's why you have that one first. Um, and that's, that's all it is right there. Now the other parts you have to do, and this is important, the camera boom, you have to, under camera settings, you have to uncheck all of these. Inherit pitch. Okay, we don't want the camera to just copy the pitch from its parent, the base character. We're, we're manually controlling it, so you got to uncheck those in your camera. And the character itself, you have to uncheck these. Use controller, rotation, pitch, and yaw. And roll. You want to uncheck those as well. So we talk about several rotations here. The control rotation, um, actually it'll be easiest if we just observe it. So I hold down right and I'm turning it. But you notice that I look at his hips and feet, he's still facing the same way. That's the pawn rotation, the mesh. The mesh is still rotated the same way, but the controller is rotated over here via the right mouse drag. So when I go forward, off he goes that direction. Um, so if you want to get fancy, what you can do in the animation blueprint, you can have your character, if it comes with a pivot animation, you can have it kind of uh, pivot step and slowly interpolate from the pawn rotation to the control rotation. And so when I'm in a situation where I've right mouse dragged to the right, the character may slowly start to pivot his mesh to align to that control rotation. Not super critical. Um, as you can see, it looks fairly good as it is. Um, if you just want to, you know, have better idle animations, you can do something like that. And again, that's would be interpolating the pawn rotation to the control rotation. Um, so that's it. Uh, I think it's a much easier way to understand than the videos I had posted before, so I will probably delete those old ones. Um, but this is the heart of it right here, inside the player controller. Thanks for watching.